We started A Fricker Roofing back in 2020. I was working for a uh, commercial roofing company. Leanne was working for uh, what was New Medica. Medica, and we were just you know I was making 20 bucks an hour. How much do you think we've done in repairs for him? I would say 12 to 15. 12 grand. to 15 grand in Probably repairs. Probably 15. Grand. Braxton, do you remember whenever I used to pick you up from daycare and then we'd go around knocking doors and I'd be out handing out business cards and stuff? Until like 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, until around 9 usually. You were picking me up and then moving your car. I think you're going to have to take and it in uh, April. Yeah, April's whenever I quit my job at, at a commercial roofing company, so I took myself out of the field and started selling full time. And that was also right whenever the big hailstorm hit April 28th, 2020 in Sand Springs, Berry Hill area. After that storm hit is when we really started to gain our momentum. And we did about 100 roofs in that area. And about that time is when we brought on our first salesperson, Jeremy. Jerry was our first one. And he's still with us. Yeah, now he's a sales manager. I didn't have to run anybody off. They all left at an appropriate time. I didn't have to tell them. <laughs> and after that, things started to really grow quickly. Considering six months before that, we had like $12,000 to our name total. We started with nothing. And we were engaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we started out of the garage at our house. Our house was at like Admiral and Harvard area and we'd have everybody show up around five o'clock in the morning we'd load up and we'd have to like pull half the stuff out of the garage to get to the stuff that we needed for the day and then we'd have to load it back in and we'd have to keep half the materials on the side of the house luckily the house next door was actually abandoned because it was at Mount harvard and so we could use some of their storage too and it actually worked in our advantage and we actually lived in that house all the way up until about nine months ago so yeah until we had Audrey. Everybody that hired us, I was their point of contact for a long time. Um, I'm just being honest, like, and telling them the truth, whether they actually needed a roof or not, you know, not just always yeah. trying to sell them on a claim, hey, I can fix this instead of, you know. Yeah. Thanks, bud. <laughs> After about years, whenever I figured out that we really had some momentum, we had finally gotten to a point where we were able to bring on full-time employees. So three and a half years ago from where it started to where we are now, we now have a sheet metal fab shop. We run two full-time crews. We have multiple maintenance and repair crews. We've got a guy on site for every project to help manage things, make sure the crews have materials, make sure we photo document every step of the process, and just make sure that everything is seamless from A to Z. So that's really our main goal whenever we do a project is to make sure that from the time the customer hires us to the <laughs> Super grateful for where we are today. We've been really fortunate and blessed to have as much support from the community as we have. Now we do roofing, siding, waterproofing, and guttering, and we even do sheet metal for other roofing companies, which is super awesome. Um, we're really looking forward to what the future brings for April for Roofing. We have an amazing team, I've got an amazing family, and everybody involved in our company and organization has proven to be extremely valuable, not just to us, but also to our customers. drive around knocking on doors. What are you doing? During six months before that, we only had like $12,000. He hires us. To the, it's like, dude, he knows. Or I, I will take you out of the video the all the way. <laughs>